Good morning. I want to speak on the subject of authority this morning. Seems that we have got it all out of whack in our nation today. I want you to hear what the Bible says about authority in Romans 13, verses 1 through um, 4, I believe it is. Let every soul be subject to governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Do you want to be unafraid of the authority? Do what is good, and you will have praise from the same, for he is God's minister to you for good. But if you do evil, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain, for he is God's minister and avenger an avenger to execute wrath on him who practices evil. So I want you, and then it goes on to say, therefore you must be subject not only because of wrath, but also for conscience sake. Go back and read that, Romans 13, 1 through 5. For I'm thinking about all the problems we see with authority on TV, with the police, that's a big issue right now. Well, we just seen a young lady arrested in school, and it all boils down, 90, I would say 99.5% of the cases, if you would just do what the authority asks you to do, there would be no problems. But when we resist the authority, we think we know better. We think we don't have to. We're raised without respect, and without respecting authority, problems arise. God's Word deals with this, and He's made it very clear. Unless it is something that is against what God's Word says, we are to obey authority. And I think raising our hands, doing what police officers tell us to do, is respecting authority and not something that God tells us not to do. Folks, this is a big issue. Respect authority. Do what the folks ask you to do, and many of these problems would never arise. Read it for yourself and think about what God's Word says this day. God bless you. Have a great day.